Okay. A lawsuit filed in Sacramento against the High Speed Rail Authority and multiple state officials, including the governor, is trying to stop the $68 billion high speed rail project. Our Saving the California Dream producer Heidi Kuda is following the story. I hate calling it high speed. Rather than rail extension. Right. Right. Here's okay. what's at stake. The high speed rail project is the biggest public works project in California's history. In 2008, voters approved $9 billion in bonds to start it, but a lawsuit filed by attorney Michael Brady alleges multiple violations. What the authority plans to do is a giant fraud on the voters. When the voters were presented this proposition, they were presented with all this glowing language about a true high-speed rail system whisking people in two hours and 40 minutes from Los Angeles to San Francisco without ever having to change trains or ever having to change uh, seats. What's happened is they're taking the money and they're gonna spend it not for a high-speed train system at all. They're gonna spend it for conventional railroad lines and to modernize commuter rail systems in the Bay Area and in Los Angeles. None of this is true high-speed rail. Reality suddenly descended on the authority and some of the state officials, and they realized they have nothing approaching the amount of money they need to build a true 800-mile high-speed train system in California. It's not a high-speed train at all, so it's in square violation of the statute. Here's what the lawsuit alleges. Under Proposition 1A, all rail lines are supposed to be electrified. The opening stretch is not. The train is supposed to go from L.A. to San Francisco in two hours and 40 minutes. Its current estimate, four to five hours. <laughs> Travelers are supposed to be able to take one train from L.A. to San Francisco with ne without ever changing sh uh, seats. Current plans include transfers. The money to build the first stretch is supposed to be in the bank, and currently about a third of the cost is banked. Jeff Morales, the CEO of the Rail Authority, says, however, we are in full compliance with Proposition 1A and will continue to comply. We are deliver, uh, delivering a statewide rail modernization plan that, in addition to high-speed rail, makes a total of $12 billion in investments to regional rail across the state. Heidi, he uses the word high-speed rail. Four to five hours, you might as well drive. How does he justify calling that high-speed rail? Well, you know, even in his statement, he talks about how they're modernizing it. And the lawsuit, the whole point of the lawsuit is that voters didn't vote for this modernization. They voted for this bullet train. So even some of the original people who backed 1A are now turning on this project. Right. Three Democratic state senators said no way. They don't like the current plan. One of them I spoke with earlier, Alan Lowenthal, he told me that this is something he simply cannot back this plan because he doesn't believe it properly serves the people of California. There's a number of big issues that are raised in this lawsuit. One is that Prop A said you can't uh, have government subsidies. Right now, you know, they're, they're realizing they may not have the ridership they want and how are they going to then pay for it. Another thing is that it was supposed to be done by 2020. It's now looking closer to 2035. All the polls we've seen recently show voters want that do-over. It doesn't seem to be forthcoming right now. All right, Heidi, thanks very much. Thank